It's one of the oldest structures in their area, and now the 300-year-old landmark is being saved, restored, and soon turned into a museum on the main street of Roslyn, Long Island. CBSN New York's Jennifer McLogan reports. The grist mill, once a water-powered flour mill here in the heart of the quaint Roslyn village, was built in 1715 and is one of the few remaining Dutch colonial frame buildings left in the United States. The community came out in droves to witness the 300-year-old mill being slowly raised to street level, carefully lifted inch by inch by hydraulic jacks so a new watertight foundation can be poured. Architects advising preservationists every step of the way how to add sections of timber cribbing so the building doesn't collapse. It was the first building. It was the really the economic generator for the whole village itself. So this was the business center and all the buildings grew around it. Roslyn citizens got Nassau to begin restoration efforts that are eventually expected to cost up to $4 million funded by the state, county, village, and matching contributions from the community. Added to the National Register of Historic Places, it's admired near and far. Even George Washington was a fan, mentioning the mill in his diary when he visited here in 1790. The fact that George Washington, our first president, wrote about this grist mill, this is such a connection to our present, the past and the present, and it's really important that our young people understand our history right here in Nassau County. When the work is complete, the county will transfer title to the village, which will then turn it over to the Roslyn Landmark Society and operate this as a museum. From Roslyn, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBSN, New York. An historic new office building is coming.